Today I've got new updates on the RX 590 and GDDR5X 1060. Plus there's a weird new AMD APU. Stay tuned. I'm so pumped to announce the long-awaited release for Mastrop's collaboration project with Sennheiser, the HD58X, a successor to Sennheiser's first-in-class HD580 headphones. The HD58X is an audiophile's dream, and at just $150, it's able to outclass headphones at over twice the price. And while this is a sponsor, I'm serious. If you don't believe me, check out what the experts had to say. If you're interested, definitely check those out before they're sold out in the description below. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Now to today's first story. Originally reported by MyDrivers.com, who further confirmed the earlier assumptions that the RX 590 would be using the new 12 nanometer process that AMD uses in their Zen Plus CPUs. Unfortunately, this part is nothing but a rumor from a forum, but it's then confirmed by the editor of Hardware Lux, who leaked out two images on Twitter. The first being an image of the RX 590 logo, further proving the GPU's existence, while the second shows us that the card will in fact be based on the 12 nanometer FinFET design. Unfortunately, if we go back to MyDrivers.com, that seems to be the main difference driving performance, as this rumor suggests the 590 is basically identical to the 580 as far as core count, RAM, etc. So given this is right, the primary difference boils down to better efficiency that comes from the smaller transistor size leading to higher clocks. Obviously, that's going to disappoint many of you, but remember that while it's still technically a 480, with the improved process, it'll have an actual performance difference when compared to the 480, unlike the pretty much non-existent difference we got from the 500 series refresh. As far as release date and price, the rumor points to November 15th and comes in at 2099 yuan, which roughly translates to a little over $300. Of course, that doesn't mean it'll be the price, since there's more to pricing to other countries than just converting currency. Personally, I'd expect around $250 to $275, though that's just my opinion. And as with the 500 series, they'll more than likely only be sold by third-party board partners, so MSRP will very much be based on each company regardless. Next up, AMD seems to be making a really odd move by working on releasing a new APU for their ancient by now FM2 Plus socket. The APU was originally spotted in a NASRAP BIOS update just a couple weeks ago, but it was understandably assumed to be fake. Well, apparently it wasn't, as both Gigabyte and AMD themselves have listed it on their product lists. Named the A87680, the new APU is based on AMD's 28 nanometer excavator architecture, and at least from Gigabyte's site, comes with 2 megabytes of L2 cache, a base clock of 3.5 gigahertz, and an integrated GPU at just over 1 gigahertz. The APU is already listed on some retailer sites and is going for around $60 US when converted. I think the question is why, to which no one, including third-party vendors, really know. I'd guess there's a very specific market AMD wants to game, but with it actually coming to retail, I don't get it much at all. Of course, I'd love to hear why you think AMD released this new APU. Let me know down in the comments below. Lastly for today, TechPowerUp seems to have gotten a hold of a spec sheet for AIB Partners Palette's new 1060 with GDDR5X RAM. And it's just sad. The GPU, called their GTX 1060 Gaming Pro OC Plus, does come with GDDR5X, but it's clocked at only 8.8 GHz. Yeah, don't forget that Nvidia already released a 1060 with GDDR5 at 9 gigabits per second. Though, as TechPowerUp points out, it's definitely not what most 1060 owners have. Really, the only hope left is that there's massive overclocking potential, but of course, I'd just ask why they'd underclock it so much to begin with. Really, I'd say the more likely scenario points to NVIDIA needing to get rid of poor performing GDDR5X RAM, but honestly, I just don't know. One thing's for certain though, if these leaks and rumors are true, this definitely isn't the way to compete with AMD's upcoming RX 590. So while that does it for today, what did you think? Ready for new-ish mid-range GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the channel, definitely don't forget to check out our sponsor with the HD58X down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.